You can download this lesson by clicking on the link under the description below. Pay as you go is depend on each individual incomes. So that is depend on this tax table here. So after paying tax, we also need to pay 2% for the Medicare levy. That is for the hospital or visit doctors. For example, Rose earned $3,980.60 a fortnight. What is the amount of PAYG, that is pay as you go tax deducted each fortnight by her employer? So first of all, we need to work out the taxable income first. So the taxable income is equal to $3,980.60 a fortnight, but because there is uh, 26 fortnight in a year, so I just time by 26. So which equal to? $103,495.60. Now normally, okay, we should write like this, but because I'm run out of space, so I just write the answer here. So which is 103,495.60. So let me clear this first. So now the next step is to work out which bracket is she's on. So her income is a hundred and three thousand so therefore in this bracket here there you go so between this bracket so which is this so now her tax is equal to now first of all she had to pay this much tax so which is twenty thousand seven hundred and ninety seven dollars plus now 37 cents for every dollar that above 90,000. So all we need to do is to find the difference between this amount and then this amount and time by 37 cents, which is 0 0.37. So the way to do this is I just go 0 0.37 time. So I just put bracket, brackets mean time. The difference between 103 and 90, so which is 103,000. 495 and 60 cents minus 90,000. One, two, three, bracket. So which equal to 25,790 dollars and 37 cents. So after paying tax, she need to pay Medicare levy as well. So to Medicare levy is 2%, so which is 2% of the taxable income. So which is 2 over 100 times by 103,495.60. So which equal to $2,069.91. So now the total tax which equal to 25, this is 25,790 dollars and 37 cents. We add 2069 and 91 cents. So which equal to 27,860 dollars and 28 cents so that is the total tax so i run a space so i just write in here so which is equal to twenty seven thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars and 28 cents that's how much tax she has to pay so to work out pay as you go that is fortnightly tax which equal to because she has to pay this in the whole year so therefore to work out pay as you go we just go twenty seven thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars and twenty eight cents divided by because it's she getting pay each fortnight so which is twenty six fortnight in a year so her fortnightly tax will be this which equal to one thousand and seventy one dollars and fifty five cents 
So therefore, fortnightly tax is this much. Or PAYG is $1,071.55. Please stop the video and do this one yourself. So Matthew earns $950.60 per week. So therefore, we need to work out how much um, his income first. So taxable income is equal to $950.60 with times by 52 because 52 weeks in a year. So which equal to $49,000. $431.20. So step number two, we need to work out which bracket he's in. So 49,000, so he's in this bracket here. So this is his bracket. So now we need to work out how much tax he has to pay. So tax equal, now I run a space, so I just write the answer here first. So now tax is equal to, so first of all, $3,572 plus 32.5 cent every dollar for every dollar that above $37,000. So $3,572 plus the difference between $37,000 and $49,000. So that term by 32.5 cents. So which is 0 0.325 time. So I just put bracket. So the difference between $49,431.20 minus $37,000. So which equal to $7,612.14. So that is the amount tax Matthew has to pay. And then he has to pay Medicare levy as well. So the Medicare levy is 2%. So which is equal to 2% means 2 over 100 of his taxable income. So the taxable income is $49,431.20. So which equal to $988.62. So that is for Medicare levy. So now the total tax, so I just write underneath here, total tax, which equal to $7,000. $612.14 plus $988.62 which equal to $8,676. So therefore, Matthew weekly tax is equal to $8,676. And 76 cents divided by 52 because 52 weeks in a year and he get paid per week. So that's why we have to divide by 52. So equal to $165.40. So you can also find out what is Matthew net income. So after tax, if you like. So his net income. So which is you can simply find out by $950.60 minus the tax. So which is $165.40 which equal to $785.20. That is his net income after tax if you like. Thank you so much for watching.